Ah, uh, good day everyone and welcome back to Mad Max. That's my terrible Australian accent all the way. And you haven't missed anything really. You remember last time we were actually inside that place that's currently being attacked and blown up. Uh, and then I talked to Chum Bucket right here. These guys turned up and blew up the place. But they did open up the rest of the map for us up to the jaw and we can't actually get past that because it's like a big gate. So, what we need to do is we need to go visit a guy named Jeet. And Jeet actually has a really funny backstory. Uh, but I don't know it, so we're just going to gloss over the fact that I don't know Jeet's backstory. It's probably something interesting, like he was a guy. Uh, that's what I'm going with, he was a guy. But first, before we do that, we need to hit up this hot air balloon. Because it unlocks uh, a bunch of locations. And there's a guy on this. There's a, don't tell me, don't you dare be evil. Ah, oh, there's evil people on the other side of that. No surprise. But it doesn't matter because up, up, and away! Here we are in Black Mall. Or Black Malls with an S. For some reason. So where's Jeet's house? There it is. Jeet Stronghold. There are a few fortresses left in the wasteland attempting to stay independent from Scrotus. Or Scrotus's power, led by the Crafty Leaders. Really? They're called the Crafty Leaders? Oh, I didn't know that. These places... Oh, it's talking about all of them. It's talking about all the leaders of all the places. Because I'm an idiot. So, led by Crafty Leaders, these places of refuge often attract the few remaining wanderers still alive in the world. They are not friendly locations, but if you deal in... Oh, but if the deal is right... Excuse me. An arrangement can be often made... That's mutual beneficial to both parties. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens all the time. So, what's that? A loot encounter, a scarecrow, <clears throat> a scarecrow. Hey, it's Grifter. We can go talk to Grifter. You guys remember Grifter? Let's just have a quick scout out. And there's, a, there's a bunch of other stuff that you've got to really quickly pick off. And if you have trouble, if you, by the way, if any of you guys got this game like I suggested, and you're having trouble finding things, and you uh, when you're inside one of these towers, just go in, look at some stuff, back out to this point, look around. If you see anything, <laughs> stop blowing up on me. It's painful enough. If you see anything in white like that, just zoom back in. Boop, 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 and there you go. It'll pop more on the map like that. Isn't that fun? Oh, we missed something over there. What is that? Top Dog Camp. Defeat the top dog known as Gasper Grope. Mm, okay, and collect his war paint. Uh-oh, looks like we have some war boys waiting for us down here. Hello, gentlemen. It's time for an ass whooping. Get over here so I can whoop it. Whoop it good. Dun, 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 dun. Whoosh. Sorry, sorry, no, that's, that's Devo with Whip It. I've just turned it into Whoop It Good. Any more junk? Yep. Give me that junk. Alright, come here, buggers. I don't like you around here. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Out of my face. Beat you up like that. Yeah, that'll teach you. All right, let's get our opus and get out of here. By the way, we still haven't come up with a name for this car. I don't know. I really don't. Hmm. What are you thinking? Because it is, it is the interceptor body. I don't know. It's the interceptor body. Eventually, it'll have the V8 engine. Uh, then we've got to kind of balance out handling and defense and attack so that we've got like a perfect car now you don't want to be too heavy because you'll do amazing stunts like that sorry uh, you don't want to be too heavy because you won't have good handling it will make you really good attack and defense but you won't have good handling uh, you don't want to be too light and fast because you'll be really really shit in defense so you've got to try and kind of find like the balance in between 
and I don't know, I don't know, I haven't built a car, like, I, like this is really my first proper ever playthrough of this game, so, would you stop pointing your sniper rifle at me? Get down. There we go. Yeah, so no, so we've got to find a way to balance the look of the car, the feel of the car, all the fun stuff that you get with shit like this. Just run over those guys real quick. There's another car. Don't worry, G, we're coming. Oh, we've got company. Get out of my dreams and get into my car. That, I don't know why I decided to start singing whatever, I want to say Billy Ocean. Oh shit, the opus is taking damage. Initiate evasive maneuvers. Oh! Okay, I just heard a guy shout witness. You're not going to witness on me, motherfuckers. I'm getting out of here. To the stronghold, to the stronghold. Our car is fucking defenseless. Do -do 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 -do. As you can see, it used to be a lighthouse. All right, I'll shut up now for the uh, for the cutscene because I've never seen this. It is me, John Bucket, uh, Master Wrench Jockey, and Skill Blackfinger, who's an acolyte to the Angel Combustion who beseeches you. Who's your driver? Does he have any knowledge of medicine? I fear not. Your pain must linger. I'm sorry, but he is a driver of otherworldly skills. Yes, you see. Why would I need a driver of otherworldly skills? Scrap my game. Please. Please, we aim to enter the dead barons. And all my gear, it was destroyed. My infidel scavengers. And we need to heal this machine. If you let us work here. Why, where it is, saintly wheel hands and my black fingers, who we will deliver to you a bona fide respect. Ah, praise be the prophet. Let him inside. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Jeet. He, uh, I don't know what's wrong with his face. Looks like he's got some sort of super cancer or some shit from living in Australia. I mean, I mean from the nuclear wars and and stuff. Not from living in Australia, because, you know, people in Australia are good. Yeah, don't kill me, people in Australia. Don't send me creepy crawlers in the past that could kill me with a single fucking bite. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I want to know why you let me in here, G. Is it possible for your own benefit? I'm expecting it for your own benefit. It's not much of a car. You trust that little scrap monkey? For now. Not much of a stronghold. Careful now. Don't want to insult a man in his own home. <laughs> Listen, we used to rule this stretch, and now the warlord controls all and brings only death. Warlord. Scrotus. Scabrous. Killed, I hear. Sawed him up in the head. <laughs> but his terror outlives him. A proposition then. I weaken their grip on these lands. You give us the use of your garage and tools. Boom! I thought you could, you'd have a deal. And then. Gas town. <laughs> oh, one peep at the jaw will change your mind. What's the jaw? the gate you gotta pass to reach gas town look for it yourself it's a dead baron's pass right before i do do we have a deal yeah you weaken the influence of that dead warlord and we'll have a deal hmm interesting proposition so we have to go speak to chum oh a sniper rifle now we're talking yeah. Oh, look at that engine. Look at that beautiful engine. Anyway, let's go test out this sniper rifle. Rum, 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 rum. All right, so... He's a deadly weapon. It also apparently fucking unfolds. That's... 
pretty awesome if it, it's an unfolding sniper rifle. My fingers were controlled by that is quite beautiful. It also kind of looks like a 50 cal. Anyway, to the Dead Baron's Pass. Dun 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 I'll take him out with me. How he can't see me from there for the fact that I'm parked right in front of him is unbelievable. Um, did I get that guy then? Oh no, I missed. Okay, let's try zooming in first. There we go. Can't believe I missed with those two shots. Look after the car. Keep your head down. I'm I've got places more. to be, people to kill, things to do. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We're just going to head up here and we're going to scope out uh, the jaw. The jaw is... Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's just a big gate. It was built inside of... Uh, I don't know, like a f ferry house or something? A shipyard, I think. I think it was built inside of a shipyard. I don't know. I should really pay attention to the name of things and the backstory and stuff. Because I actually kind of like the Mad Max universe. Hey, you got a shotgun bullet for me? Nope, my ammo belt is full. Oh well. Use evade! Alright, evade! <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do now, you son of a bitch? I'm behind you. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. Ah! Evade! And heavy attack. Heavy attack. Oh, screw it. Shotgun! That is how you do it, my friend. And then you stab him in the face. When in doubt, shotgun. Get a quick load up and, uh. Ooh, sound. This is a hood ornament. Right. Hood ornament. It does some stuff. Uh, that one, I think, gives me a little bit of extra attack. I think they, they each do these do something so you can get one that increases your handling you know one that increases your overall speed all, all this kind of fun stuff it's actually pretty interesting uh my favorite one i think is actually in jeet's stronghold which i should have picked up and it's like uh it's a skull with a massive grin on its face and a pair of like a, a, like a leather flight cap and a pair of aviators it's pretty well not aviators but like uh oh cutscene shh, 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 shh. No, it's not a cutscene. Oh well, there it is. There's the jaw. That must be it. And now you'll find with a lot of stuff, you can actually just uh, once you've been to the top of it, you can just come here and zip line out of here. Car needs more power and grip. Yeah, he needs, needs more power. And a grill to shoot. Needs everything. Needs a rocket launcher. He needs a he needs a he needs a grill. So he needs a barbecue. So I can put some shrimp on a barbie. Now I would loot this place, but can't be asked. Let's let's do story. I will do looting inside, uh, like when I'm not playing. So like w when I'm not recording, I'll do looting on the side because no one wants to see a guy loot the fucking arena now, do they? Your plans for this car, building it up. You got to do it before we can get past the jaw. His black fingers are ready to dance, Saint. Oh, yeah. and I know just the steps too. It's called the Jack, a wasteland classic. <laughs> Chances of survival grow tenfold. Then the harpoon. Soon, soon. <laughs> but she needs the basics first, huh? The car is weak. Agreed. Let's return to Jeets first, huh? Then I'll show you the plans. All right, so uh. Chum right there just told us that we need to build something called the Jack, which is something uh, in the presence of an archangel. Uh, and an archangel is a specific card design. It's it's a weird thing. He'll explain it in a second when we get back to Jeets. But what I really want to do real quick is change our tires. Let's buy some new tires, some deep tread because that increased our handling. And I'll show you the hood ornaments real quick. So the one we unlocked is right there, and it gives us a defense boost. Miss me. 
Suck it. Oh, camp was being alerted. I just noticed that. I comp sometimes I completely gloss over the fact that things are on screen. Someone actually told me that recently because fucking we were playing Overwatch and there's a kill feed on the side and I barely knew, noticed it was just because I'm an idiot. But we've got to get back to Jeets anyway and that's a perfect cut off point I think. Uh, well, do you know what? We'll listen to him talk about the Archangels first. I'll let you guys know what an Archangel is even though I've told you what an Archangel is. Oh, okay, we actually just drove right off the fucking edge. So come on, uh... Yep, we saw the joy, it's a big gate. Here we go. Here it is, Saint. My plans for the jack. Oh, oh, she'll be perfect. Speed, power, tenacious durability. Take a look-see, take a look-see. Mmm, see. Archangels such as the jack are special magnum opuses. Magnum Mo... shouldn't that be Opi or something? I don't know. Configurations uh, revered by Chum. To get started, enter the Archangel screen, which is, you know, just boop. So this is the one he wants us to build. It's called the Jack. And there it starts on the side, but there are a bunch of other ones that you, uh, you could check out when they're done. I need 100 scrap for that. I need 300 for that. I need to do the Story Wasteland Classic for that. And... I need to go find the body for that. Which I don't have. And it it gave us the mission... Yeah, he's got a proposition. It gave us the mission Wasteland Classic, which will uh, open up some stuff. But I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to drop the uh, threat level in Jeet's territory. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> ah, ah, there we go. We're going to have to drop the... the, uh, the, 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 the terror level or whatever you want to call it in Jeet's territory quite a bit because dropping the level also unlocks a bunch of stuff so the way I plan on doing that I'm going to visit all of these uh, vantage outposts off screen and find all of the camps and then we'll do an episode dedicated to beating the shit out of everybody in every single one of those camps I think that works do you think that works guys I think that works but until then and I know you're up there. Can I point my gun at you? No, I can't. I can just dance. Dance. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming along to this episode, guys. You know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. By the way, if you have a name for our, our opus, a car, or speed wagon that will thunder through the sands of time, please go ahead and stick it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to uh, click that little notification bell. And until then, stay awesome. <laughs>